Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and Penny. Um, we're here with the final episode of The Mandalorian Season 3, uh, or Chapter 24. This is gonna wrap up a lot of uh, build-up. We left in a really sour <laughs> note last episode. Uh, Din is captured. The, the scouting group of the Mandalorian combined tribe is trying to escape. We don't know. Somehow maybe um, also send a warning up to the remaining fleet who are being sent an attack from Mr. I'm still alive. Um, he's still alive. Uh, Mr. Bad is still alive and he has created his own little army of Imperial Mandalorians. Essentially, I mean, are they really Mandalorians? Really, it's just Mandalorian armor using the Beskar from their home world of Mandalore. So pretty messed up. Um, they were not expecting to have an Imperial base there, let alone um, this guy trying to uphold and take over what Mandalore is, which as we know is a culture, a people, not just something you could just take the armor and become a warrior of, it's more than that. So. Anyways, we're gonna hopefully, you know, get some closure, um, have some more story put out before us. I don't know, some intensity coming. So I'm sure Grogu is not happy because his dad is in prison. So I'm assuming Grogu is gonna run, run off and people have to go off with him because he's in his little IG unit now. So all I have to say, I'm ready. I hope you are too. This is the final episode of season three of Mandalore. Let's just get right to it. Here we are. This music's very uh, Ask, old school sci-fi adventure. He's about to lose Fighters contact. Bro, can they survive up in- I mean, he's doing it confidently, so, uh, bro. I like that in subtitles they still call him the Mandalorian instead of Din. Bro. Yeah, that's why you- That's why you aren't. Are you gonna take the helmet off? No. No. Aha! No. 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 What are you? What are you spraying him? Was he pushing oxygen in his face? Will you cut me loose? Yes. I like that the little dot is green. Shall we engage? No. I'll take care of him myself. That sounds cool. <laughs> oh, poor thing. How should we proceed? Close the gauntlets and send all available troops down as reinforcements. That's so cool. Leave the capital ship behind as a decoy. Rokatan needs our help. Everyone go. Move. Oh go. no, he's not going to sacrifice, is he? Oh, okay, yeah, so this is just a normal standard procedure. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> this is so cool. But wait, what about the sick that they... He's trying to take out as many as he can. Ah. Yeah, see, the center is down there. what is this? Are they the robots under there? Messy. People Our don't just stand there. Are they just standing there guard? Because they sound like they're just really... Okay, now they're awakened. Ooh, those maces, though. You should take that toy. Why do they make pathways with, like, open crevasses? Like, don't you dare be a tattle. Zap him like R2. Whoa, he was a speedy boy. There we go. He already... 
Cool. Oh my gosh, you're awesome. Oh, okay, like, what are you guys gonna do? That's right. Last off. Oh! Yeah, excuse me, who's inside there? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A little bit of Moth Gideon look-alike. So, who's to say this Moth Gideon currently is... Don't do it. Yeah, that's right. Drain them. Drain them. Do you think he'd protect these a little bit more? I never knew the surface could still sustain plant life. All they need is room to grow. Oh, Lady Cree. I love that. Your reinforcements have arrived. Whoa. Yeah, that's a pretty good growth. Dude, she's awesome. She just does everything a little bit extra. <laughs> it's so special. <laughs> I feel stupid crying as they're going into battle. Oh, so they're gonna do an air fight? Great, that's extra risky over a giant hole. She about to smack him. <laughs> They're like flies, man. Oh, snap. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Mandalorians have way more practice with air combat than these dark, dark troopers or whatever. I'm adding the one thing I never had. The Force. I was isolating the potential to wield the Force. Uh-oh. You smothered them before they could draw their first breath. Pretty awesome. Bro, that ain't right. That ain't right. Yeah. About time. No, no, no. No. There's going gung ho on this little baby. That's cool. Oh, what? Oh no, his mobility. Oh! <laughs> and it sounds like he's laughing. He is laughing! I feel like I'd be stressed about... I mean, obviously the white stands out, but just the chaos up in the air. Oh! I've got this. Go save your kid. How'd you know? Oh. Oh no! Bros, really? Ooh, the light whip. Did he grab onto it? He sure did. Nice. Thank you. He's mastered four stop. Oh, he's like, gimme, gimme, gimme. Do not. Oh, I thought he was gonna wield it. And he's not exhausted. He did good, kid. Oh no, dude, you best get out of that. Dude, you best get out of that. He's not. He broke it. 
The dark saber is gone. Okay, there we go. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Grab the baby and go. Grab the baby and go. Bokatan could survive. Not Bokatan. Plo Koon. Keep your strength up, little buddy. He's gonna be exhausted. Technically, Kanan could survive too. He'd let it go. I swear on my name and the names of the ancestors that I shall walk the way of the Mandalore. That I shall walk the way of the Mandalore. I wanna be a Mandalore. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. He is too young to speak, so he is too young to is take Is he gonna say it? He must remain a foundling. If his parent gave permission, couldn't he then become a Mandalorian apprentice? Yes, but his parents are far from here. If they are no. even alive. Then I will adopt him as my own. This is the way. This is the way. Let it be written in song that Din Djarin is accepting this foundling as his son. You are now Din Grogu, oh. Mandalorian apprentice. This is the way. For the new republic. On a case by case basis for you as well. Oh. Greetings, citizens. I am IG 11, your new marshal. Oh my marshal gosh. Of Navarre. Oh my god. I am here to serve and protect the citizenry. Cute. Uh, ah. Adorable. Okay. Don't you dare. And they get a little pond. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Rick, what a great episode. I am happy with what I saw, you know? We got a happy ending. It was really sweet. Like, I don't, is this the full, is this the end of The Mandalorian? They certainly set it up to be. They certainly set it up where the Mandalorian story is done, but he can show up in different places in different episodes if it's the same time period, right? Him and Grogu as he goes on these missions or whatever. So that's super cool. Wow, they they re they took out Moff Gideon. They reclaimed Mandalore. They get to get their culture back, get their 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 traditions and their home world. But also a new showing like, you know, I'm curious if that was just a little sub bit or if they're trying to just show like the native plant life, they just need space to grow. I just like that little tidbit. I don't know if it's trying to have a deeper meaning to it or anything or just show like our world's kind of look differently than it used to and that we can prosper with the native species. I don't know how they're gonna, you know, keep that large lizard creature out in the dunes or whatever, <laughs> but. Yeah, kind of what I was feeling it is clones. I did not expect, but I guess it makes sense. He wanted to even do force abilities. I can't remember if Moff Gideon was that damaged, but he did sound very mechanical, very 
Darth Vader-esque. Like, he definitely seemed to show more strength. It could have been the suit, and the suit was providing that strength because he, every hand-to-hand -hand combat bit, he just had twice as much force against them. I loved what Bo-Katan said, Mandalorians were stronger together because, you know, they fight, you know, as that team. And even Grogu was stepping in there. And just to see that bit where he did the force shield, which is what I was expecting. I'm like, that little shield ain't gonna protect them. But they... They just did what they could instincts wise. And then Grogu, thank goodness for his training. Thank you, Luke <laughs> and Ahsoka. Um, he definitely seemed to do that. He did a lot of the push, the shoves, the pull and like a shield. It seems very like, you know, within the same bounds of training. So all defensive abilities, which I think was a great thing. He was doing all like, you know, if Luke's going to teach him one thing, it's going to be protective things since he can't run very fast. Shove your enemies away, you know, pull any necessary or pull like yourself to something and then do a force shield around yourself. So very cool. Just saying, Plo Koon. <laughs> this is Dave Filoni saying that Plo Koon still lives. Hmm. Just kidding. Anyways, um, yeah, it was a really good show. Uh, you know, the true tragedy of, of the season was losing Paz, especially knowing, you know, Vizsla, especially knowing that his son, you know, I guess maybe that was their little way of honoring him. They're like kind of a little bittersweet for him. If you think about it in that moment, like he's there getting made, you know, bathed in the waters and then Grogu gets a dad and he had lost his dad. I don't know, a little bit sad, but, uh, you know, that kid's probably gonna, he's gonna have a lot of people around him to support him. So I was half expecting Grogu to be like, this is the way. <laughs> I'm glad they didn't. That would have been way over the top. I thought he did a little bit at dad or Baba or something, but he's definitely still in the babbling phase. So it, and it ended a lot better with him being his adopted dad. So very very fun um the combat was great i loved seeing that air combat i didn't i couldn't recall but i guess that makes sense that it's vacuum sealed helmets that they can fly through space and they are able to not worry about compression or pressure or anything i'm sure all that is whatever science but um there's already things within sci-fi that goes against our understanding of science so i don't care that much but yeah i'm glad axe made it out of it i thought he was being so self-sacrificial which in a way he was but he also utilized and had his plan and he dipped out so good on that i'm happy to that um they worked together as a team as a community i think it was great bonding that they had with one another and you know not just you know these extremists or whatever these traditionalists um and the the older way the night owl mercenary mix but also these one these mandalorian group that never made it off the planet and they've been there since the beginning of its destruction also these groups of folks which i think is a great group because you have people that know the old ways as well as people who have been brought in after the fact of mandalorian's destruction or whatnot whatnot and i just had a epiphany like obviously it, the death watch outfits were the ones that rescued assumingly um Din Djarin's village re rescuing him. So I guess they were suggesting that there were their sect, their beliefs had spawned from the Death Watch. So um, yeah, just interesting diversion, um, distance, growth, what have you. But yeah, overall really good season. I, I was pleased. A lot of fun, little, little fun teasers. I don't feel like they overindulged in easter eggs um they brought us some new fun content um relatable entertainment good fighting um good underlying story so uh, it was fun i uh, hope you guys enjoyed too and thanks for so much for watching along and hopefully we'll see you on the next future stuff coming up you know ahsoka's coming up in the works um we have other shows in the works so that'll be fun i'm trying to almost keep out of the news and stuff because you know not watching trailers because trailers these days give away so much even if it's just like a little tease i can read so much into it that i can spoil it for myself just by me guessing so removing myself i don't feel like i'm missing out i feel more enjoyment being like as surprised as i can be so Bring us back to the days with like, you know, when Cloverfield first came out and they did that like 
teaser like teaser trailer and then they had this very mysterious website and you had to like piece together clues and oh, like as it got closer you had a little bit a little bit more like photos and clues and then when the movie came out it was there was still a mystery to it but i liked that it was like all the lead up to that like bring us back to those teaser days you know like we're already so prone to exposure and all these reveals and stuff. I'm like, basically, we've just got the whole premise of this movie show by knowing who's in it, who's going to surprise us, what's like a sh shot from it. You know, the more you know about the Star Wars universe, the more you can be like, oh, well, let me just piece together what's going to happen. And then, you know, just case takes away from it a little bit. Anyways, that was my random little rant. Outside of that, <laughs> Mandalorian good show. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope to see you in future stuff. If you want to stay in the know for what's upcoming and stuff, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Not sure what's next on the agenda, so that's the best way to do. It may or may not be Star Wars. We stick to Star Wars, but if you like other stuff or my reaction, do that. Um, there's also... I stream on Twitch, haven't as much consistently, but you never know if you want to find out when I'm live, follow the Twitch, twitch.tv slash Zell, X-E-L-L-L-E. And we'll leave it at that. And like the video, you know, typical, standard. Guys, I appreciate you all. I hope you're staying well. Um, you know, life's stressful sometimes. I've been going through a rough patch and it's an ebb and flow and it's always good to have these moments as a reminder of like the nice joys in life and the things that bring people together and build community. And so just remember that this is something that people all love and cherish and have a fun time with. And to keep that mindset when in your conversations with people, because ultimately that's why we're here because we enjoy the same thing. So open arms, open heart and spread love. <laughs> Sounds very hippie-ish, but all right. May the force be with you. See you next time.